guys, so today I'm going to hit the streets and ask some foreigners for their advice on what you should avoid wearing when you're in Japan. Now keep in mind these are just tips to make you look less like a tourist and blend in. So let's go to see what people have to say. Uh, maybe it's the tops that are too showy, for example, or something that might be too tight, showing too much breast, or showing how much breast a European person has can be a bit shocking to Japanese people that will be watching you very often. Definitely no flip-flops, only closed shoes. Japanese people wear semi-casual shoes, so even in the summer, instead of flip-flops, they wear proper sandals, and crocs are often seen much more worn in Japan than flip-flops. Something that reveals like a lot of skin, I guess, because they're more sort of conservative here, depending yeah. on where you are. So no short shorts or spaghetti straps, I guess. They don't really, you don't really see flip-flops very often, and like for guys, you don't really see basketball shorts. <laughs> Something you should avoid wearing, uh, not a lot of guys wear tank tops. Uh, maybe they don't like to show their arms off. Some girls in Japan wear a, a t-shirt uh, over your dress. It's a little strange for, for France people. <laughs> Japanese women are very conservative, so they usually like to cover their shoulders even in summer. So in New Zealand, I normally wear leggings by itself or like yoga pants. However, in Japan, you normally wear like shorts or a skirt on top of it because they have this concept that leggings are like stockings. So you wouldn't wear stockings by itself, right? You would normally wear something on top of it. So the same goes for leggings in Japan. So those are the things you should try avoid wearing when you're in Japan. Now it doesn't mean you can't wear these items because many foreigners still wear it and Japanese people, they don't mind. However, when you're in a new country, you wanna respect their culture and Japanese people always dress very appropriate. So I think it's nice to understand that and understand what kind of items they don't wear. So I hope this video helped you guys and I will see you in my next one.